What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dr. D-Dub here, and welcome back to Area 51. In today's episode, we're going to hope that we get some more thrill rides. We've got one on its way. I think after we get this motion simulator, which we're getting in one day, <laughs> I guess we can go ahead and wait for it. We'll go ahead and recheck a couple of these. Actually, probably everything but scenery and theming at this point. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do all that. Um... I think we'll be okay as far as finances go. If we build, I think we have a woe belly. If we build the woe belly and then the motion simulator that we're about to get, like now, then, <laughs> there we go, wasn't far off. Then we should be, and I say that with a grain of salt, we should be okay as far as money goes. We've already made almost a grand since the start of this episode, I think. I wasn't paying too much attention, but we were in the twos. Now we're in the threes. So we're making progress. Um, let's start with a motion simulator. This always seems to be a hit. And again, we're going to continue our little walkway. Um, I'm intentionally doing it all on one side to start. I want to make it all the way around, or at least halfway around. Um, and then we'll build our walkway up. So that way it'll kind of connect things up. And then from there, we will extend the remainder of the perimeter on the lower level. Uh, I think it's going to actually look really cool when it's all said and done. I'm actually really looking forward to how this uh, looks. Okay, so the motion simulator, let's tuck right here. And then, again, we can do our exit kind of right back out onto the main, main uh, path here. And then, again, we'll do our entrance kind of into the alien rock. I guess I could still call it a cliff side. It's so steep. It's a cliff. It's not a mountain. I made that mistake so many times last time, and I'm sure I'll do it again. But it is the kind of cliff of the boulder, so that still kind of works. Okay, I think we'll do... We'll do this one right to there because I mentioned last time I wanted to do this walkway right here because I think that looks nice until the support clipped right through it but now it's all better <laughs> so we'll add all of this walkway over here which should be which should work just fine um i'm not yeah that that works i like it and we'll actually grab this guy while we're looking at him carts and more and send him over here to the more which is going to be right there perfect and then we'll actually what's the other thing we have a a woe belly? Ooh, that's actually... That could go right in this corner, but that's a pretty far walk for him. So, carts and more will just be these two. I can live with that. We need to add an exit, which we'll do there. Test open. Lovely. It's doing the, the shake. Uh, avenging aviators or thrill riders? It really doesn't matter. We'll stick with this because I don't really feel like closing it and reopening it. 290. So easy. You literally place it and you make money. <laughs> That's how I like it. And look at that. The colors are already purple and green. We're going to leave that because that looks about as alien as I would want to begin with. Okay. So we're going to name this one. It doesn't quite look like it, but it might give the, the feeling... That they're in a flying saucer while inside this thing. Maybe the film Avenging Aviators. Aviators being like flying, flying saucer. I think it works. Um, all of that looks great. Flying saucer is going to make us some easy, easy money. All right, and then Handyman 10. Where is this guy covering? Quite a bit already, but these are all just thrill rides. I'm not too worried about people puking all over the place down here. We don't have anything really massive anywhere near us, and we have a bunch of benches between here and the nearest major ride. So I'm not super worried about this path getting real gross anytime soon. So we'll just go ahead and add a few of our necessities that we always must, and then a few more light posts, which we always must and always forget. <laughs> or at least when we're first starting out a park. We're getting the hang of it now. But okay, that's that. And then let's go ahead and add 
a woe belly. And again, don't know how that got there. But it's there. All right, the woe belly. We're probably going to end up building something between a uh, flying saucer and our woe belly, which looks like can only go over here. Actually, that's not true. No, never mind. We're going to build this closer. Uh, this can actually go right here. No problem at all with that. Um, so if we do this up, I don't want to get too crazy with it. Again, we'll probably stop. We'll stop level with this rock. I think that's pretty close. Let's go up to 23 there. And then we'll do the entrance. Actually, on the back side here. Yeah, well, this is going to look kind of strange, but I think it'll work. Okay, so we've got our exit right there, which now our mechanic can actually cover this as well. I wasn't anticipating him being able to do all that, if I can find him. Carts and more. You just got more. Oh, and look, he's already covering it. Sweet. All right, but if we do our exit there, we need to make sure we're doing a do not enter sign to maintain consistency. And then... Yeah, I like that. We'll do that there. And then we're going to extend this out. Let me get rid of this just because it's in my way. All right, so we'll run the... Let me get the line going first. I'm not quite sure where I want this to go. What if we run this along the length of... Yeah, that'll work. And then the exit is actually going to go through the through the side of the alien rock and then all the way over here i think that works nice yeah i keep forgetting we can just go underground with all of our walkways it's it's so easy to forget i'm not used to being able to modify the land after our whole last park all right and then do we have handymen covering this we do and he's actually almost covering all of it but I have a feeling any footpath I had placed here was for up here. So we'll grab... That guy's doing a lot already. We'll hire another one. As much as it pains me to do. We'll hire another for down here. Because again, I think this coverage is for up above, actually. Alright, so we'll have that guy cover just that. And then we'll actually go ahead and do this ahead of time. We'll have him cover all of that as well. That should... That should be pretty good. Okay, we can test and open this already. Um, do we want to do upward launch mode? Let's test it real quick. It's not going to take long to get test results back for that. We'll do 45. Yeah, let's try 45, see what our results are. Again, this won't take long. While we wait for that, we'll go ahead and beautify slash necessify the area. <laughs> Not really a word, but I don't care. All right, we'll do a lamppost underground because that looks kind of cool, except for the fact that it mounts like on the wall, which actually is probably more realistic. <laughs> that actually looks kind of cool. All right, 3.24. If we up it at all, it probably won't get any more exciting. It'll probably just get more intense. But for science, we'll up it to 49. What did I say it was? 3.24? I think that sounds right. We will find out here shortly. Or not what it was, but if it's any better than that. After this last one, it should be done testing. We should get results soon. Come on, come on. 3.26. Cool. Works for me. Tower 1 is now open, and it's going to be renamed to... Tractor beam, because that just sounds awesome. <laughs> Let's make this, I don't know why, when I think of a tractor beam, I think of purple, but it's like a bright light at the same time. And if you don't know what a tractor beam is, if you've ever seen any UFO movie or a, a movie with a UFO in it and it abducts something, the beam of light that they cast down and abduct things through is the tractor beam. All right, so we're going to try doing... Let's do a purple perimeter with a white interior. Ooh, and I always forget we can change it, which we might do. We're doing it. Okay, alternative color scheme. We're going to reverse that. Uh, white on that outside. 
purple on the inside. And then we'll paint... Ooh, what if we do... Like they get faster as they... That really doesn't convey that. <laughs> I kind of wanted, wanted to do like... Hold on, this might work. Main color scheme. And then that. Like it gets faster as it gets closer to the UFO, which would be right above it. I don't know. Use your imagination with me, guys. <laughs> I think that looks good, though. And then let's leave the white as white and just change this to purple. And there we go. Tractor beam is beautiful. We can charge 320 for now until we go back through and theme everything, which honestly, with this being so tall, if we theme this area up here, not sure if we will or why we would or we might, who knows. If we do anything up here, it might actually affect the excitement of this as well. Didn't it just get done raining? Why is it raining again? <laughs> I have no idea. Did I even change the price on this? I did. Okay. Flying Saucer is about to get busy. Oh, and this actually lines up perfectly. Okay. We're going to go ahead and bring this up right now. So if we take this in, I don't quite know what we're going to do here. So... Let's go in for two, and then we're going to go up, two, flat, turn it, and just repeat that all the way up. This is a long... Oh, man, this is tall. This is crazy. Oh, I love these thunderstorms. So much better than just the regular rain. They just sound so much cooler. Okay, and this should be getting us... Pretty close to the top here, I would hope. Not quite there. Oh my goodness. How are we not there yet? Okay, there we go. So we'll take this around here. And let's go one more. And then we're going to go up here and connect this like so. And I think that works nicely. Okay. We now have a portion of our lower perimeter connected up with our upper perimeter. Or I guess it's not perimeter since it's on the interior. But anyways, I think that's going to work. Let's go ahead and add a few benches throughout this just because that's quite a trek <laughs> up and down. That looks really cool, though. I like how that came out. It's so simple, but so awesome at the same time. Ooh, I can actually just click right on them. That's cool. We'll have benches just on all the corners. Why not? And one right in there. MIB hasn't been fixed. Did I screw up again? Do we have anyone fixing that? We do. Top lift. Oh, he's got coverage of it. That's bad. That's very bad. Oh, that's... That's going to be an issue. He's able to get to this, but at the same time, he covers the exit directly below it. So that's never going to work. Um, This guy needs to go there. We need another mechanic that can fix this. Please get the call first. Mechanic 7, please save the day. Not top lift. Don't you dare get the call. No. Did they both get the call at the same time? Okay. <laughs> Mechanic 7 is now fixing it. And we can drop top lift back off. I hope that doesn't happen again. We'll name this guy Mr. Fix-It. Because he just fixed our problems. <laughs> And then I don't even know who Mechanic 4 is, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Guys, we have five grand now. We can do things with five grand. Not a vertical roller coaster and definitely not a suspended roller coaster, but we can do something with it. I don't know what that something is, but we will find out. Um, okay, so we've got a couple options. Uh, nothing that's not super expensive, though. We could try to do... What the heck? Mechanics? 
fix things faster. To be fair, that guy's patrol area is pretty big. And I also realized I never changed the name of this. Shame on me. Thunder Rock Trailift. We changed the price, I believe. And now we can up it because we added stuff near it. Thunder Rock Chairlift. No, this is not Thunder Rock anymore. This is... Uh... What are we going to call this? Area 51... Uh... Not Surveyor. We just did that in uh, Geiger's Grove. Area 51 lift. Why not? Nice and simple. Area 51 lift. I, why did I just come down here to adjust the price on this one as well? I'm not sure. Because that's what I just tried doing. They're the same ride. Silly me. Okay. Back to our coaster that we're going to build, which I don't know what it's going to be yet. We could try doing a corkscrew coaster that's actually a continuous circuit. I think that would be kind of cool. It might get kind of pricey. A wood coaster is not going to be any cheaper. That's for sure. And I'm not going to do another steel mini. These require a lot of helices. Yeah, we're going to do a steel corkscrew. And we're going to make it... I don't know. But we're going to make it. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to be made into. But it's going to work. At least I hope. Ooh, what if we do this? We'll adjust the land ever so slightly. Boop. Right there. We'll start the station on that piece of land right there. And then lower it back down. Because this will look really cool, I think. If we go off the edge right here. Look at how much more expensive that gets all of a sudden. This is 83 and now it's 143 to do the same thing. Okay, so this is going to start off with just a massive drop. Maybe not super massive. Yeah, definitely not super massive because we don't have the room to make it super massive. Nor will we have any supports. Yes, we will. They go on the side. Just kidding. Okay, so this is at 12 to 13. So being at 14 right here, we need to get out the way real quick. Um, so if we do a corkscrew to the right, we run into a ride. So that won't work. So we have to just go right back up a little bit. And if we do this, that should be fine. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, I want this to... That will not work. That will work. I'm just being dumb about it. Um, no, it won't. <laughs> okay, so we'll start doing a lift here and take it back up this direction because um, I don't know what because, but if we start doing a lift, that's not going to make that. If we do this at a lift, then go back up steep, flatten it out, continue our lift. There we go. Okay. So that's kind of a, an interesting start to the ride. And we've already spent about a fifth of our funds. So this isn't going to be the most intense ride ever, but it's going to be a coaster that's enough of a coaster to satiate my need to build something not puny. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so if we go up the hill here and do a... A corkscrew to the... Oh, no. Not that. A half loop. That should work. Let's start that a little bit earlier. Let's even do it one earlier. Let's start it right here. We'll do a half loop and then a corkscrew. Because those just look awesome. And then... Yeah, this is definitely not going to be the most... Amazing thing I've ever built. Just because we're hurting for money, still. That doesn't work. Drats. Um, what if we swing this? That doesn't work either. Can we go wide here? We can. That looks nice. I like that. And then, can we get away with doing a loop here? What if we loop it to the right? No? Um, 
what if we start it here? Still no. <laughs> I don't even know if that would make it to begin with, but... Okay, so let's bring it down this little hill and then try going up. Vertical loop left. That should work. And then we can go back down here. That works perfectly. At least with the terrain. Oh, yeah. That's cool looking. I like that. We're going to kind of bring this over top and connect it back up because we're already running out of money. Um, so if we do that wide, I think it's going to look better. Yeah, that looks way better. Swing it kind of wide over top all this. I think that looks really nice. And if we can bring it back right through here and then... That's at 26. So if we bring it up to 28, we could hopefully clear that and then drop it right back down. That should work. Um, it's going to take a little bit to get the money to do that, quite possibly. Um, so that's at 25. I need to be at 27. We'll just do a little bit of up and down action right there. And hopefully, maybe not. I just removed two pieces and didn't have them. I don't know what just happened. Did I just pay staff wages? I'm not sure. Um, I'll be back when we have like a grand or something. All right. So we're going to continue this down here just to clear some of this. Uh, it might need to drop steep. It most certainly cannot drop steep. Can I do it one earlier? That'll give me more time to get back up. No, it won't. Um, okay, so all of this will need to be tighter by one. And that should allow us to do the same thing, but better. Hopefully. There we go. Okay. So we can drop that down all the way to 25. Actually, now that we're here, can we get away with a steep drop? Absolutely not. Okay, never mind. I wish you could do inline twists on this one, which are a fancy word for a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Um, I'm wanting to do a steep incline here, but I don't think we're going to be able to. That puts us at 29, and we need to be at 28. So never mind on that. If we go up to 28... Actually, hold on. If we keep this low here... This allows us to go underneath this and back up, turning it at, we'll need to be at 28 again, turning it at 28, looping back around, and does that line us up perfectly? I think it does. Clear all this, drop it, and add one more piece of station. Oh, so close to being able to finish that. And there we go. Uh, let's actually take some of this and remove it. And let's actually add some breaks here. Because that, I think, will look nice. We'll do it. 22, 18, and 13. Slow it down and end it. And do we have anywhere on this ride that would be a good place for an on-ride photo? I think that would be something that would be nice to add. It's a little expensive of a track piece, but let's do it right here. It's probably the most exciting spot that there is, but hopefully that will make us a little bit of money. I need to really start, I say this on our last park in this series, but I really need to start adding more on-ride photos whenever I can. I think every ride that has the ability to have one on it should have one on it. Because it's just, it's easy money at that point. There's no reason really not to. Um, let's... Ooh. This one has a cool name. Okay, so we've got two Project something or others. Project Blue Bolt and Project Red, uh, Red Line. Was it Red Line? Red Light, my bad. Um, on this one, though, we're going to name this kind of similar. It's not Project but Operation Majority. That just sounds cool. Operation Majority. 
is a go. All right, so we don't have test results yet. Don't know why I just checked that. Uh, what color would the majority be? I don't know. Um, we don't have anything that is predominantly purple yet. At least that takes up a lot of space. So let's make this predominantly purple. Purple, and then what does green trim on this look like? Oh, that's so cool. Yes, we're doing that. And then green supports? No, because that blends in too much with uh, conspiracy theory over here. What do purple supports look like? I really like that. That's awesome. And then how many how many trains do we have? Two trains, eight cars per train. Can we get three? Nope, not gonna bother. We'll stick with two. Um, okay, so we'll do we'll do different colors per train. Actually, let's do different colors per vehicle. I think this could be cool. So we'll start with a purple and a green stripe, and we'll basically actually hold on. Different colors. All in the same colors, purple and green. Now different colors per vehicle. And now it should default them. There we go. And so every other one, we will just alternate those. So green and purple. Four, green, purple. And then we'll do the same to six and eight. And this thing should look pretty nice when it's done. And we just got a wooden crazy rodent coaster. Those things are fun to build. Oh, we need an entrance and exit before I can do that. Silly me. Um, we'll do the entrance. We'll do the entrance on this side. I think that would work. And then the exit can actually go... Let's do right here on the other side. I really like doing the entrance and exit on, other, on opposite sides. I don't know why, but I think it just looks a lot cooler. I know it's just a line, but I still think it looks pretty cool. Okay, and we can connect that up right there and actually remove that tile. We'll grab this mechanic since he's here. Top lift, you have even more work now. Okay, and then what else do I need? Probably a bench and a trash can and a light post for good measure. As well as, I almost forgot, a do not enter sign. Okay, that's that's good. We've already made two grants since finishing that. That's that's lovely. I'm not sure if I just said lovely or lovely. <laughs> if I did, it was a combination of wonderful and lovely. All right, this line's not gonna be super long. I say that and then I see other things I could do with it and it makes me want to make it super long. But I won't, I won't. We'll run this around there and then all the way down. I think that looks really cool. I like how that came out. I don't feel like, it looks like a pretty decent coaster. I felt like I made it pretty small and underwhelming kind of, but honestly that looks pretty awesome. Let's hope it actually performs as well. Uh, let me go ahead and kill our Martian music here so we can actually hear what's going on on Operation Majority. that that came out really nice it might be this part right here I thought it was gonna be going a little bit slower on it oh but it doesn't matter 643 heck yeah oh yes so pleased with how that came out 
Let's hope people start riding it soon. It actually is pretty intense. And I'm going to guess that's because... Hold on, that's velocity. I want lateral Gs. So right there at the end, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Almost three Gs. That's probably the most intense as far as lateral Gs. Vertical Gs, obviously we've got the initial drop. Some corkscrews and loops and it's all over the place there. But vertical Gs aren't as big of a deal on pretty much everything in this game. Lateral Gs are more of what you need to be worried about. But we don't have to worry about anything because that came out amazingly. Let's go ahead and check leave if another arrives because these trains are massive. Those things just look ginormous. We usually end up doing these corkscrew coasters. I don't feel like we ever get eight trains. We might always, but for whatever reason, they look really large. It could be the paint job, which I think looks awesome. But who knows? Um, we got something while we were doing that, other than the wooden crazy rodent. What was it? We've built all of our gentle rides. We've built all of our throw rides. Uh, we got a fries stall? I think that's new. That's most definitely new. We'll go ahead and go ahead and add our fries stalls to our two food court areas. We'll probably end up adding a third now that I'm looking at all this. Um, back here, I had kind of an idea for how I want to expand this food court out. I don't know why I got inspired to do this, but we're going to do one right there and another one facing this direction as well. Kind of a way to utilize this back space. And I think that's a pretty good use of it. Kind of looks sort of cool how it's all laid out. And that also allows us to add some benches right there in the sort of soon-to-be alleyway. I was wondering why no one was buying my fries, but it's because it was closed. <laughs> oh, man. The things I do sometimes, guys. All right. That's going to do it for this episode. I think this came out very nicely. I am looking forward to see how well this performs once we get even more guests in our park. Let's double check our objective here real quick. So we have to have 900 guests by year four. End of year four. We are in the third month of year three. So we have already completed our objective and we have almost two full years to go. We're going to make this park amazing. I am so excited for how it's going to look. And that actually ended up being a good spot for that on-ride photo. I'm pleased with it. But that is besides the point, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. And until then, as always, take care.